Hey guys, Jared Cohen here, yoga tune-up teacher, CrossFit coach, role model therapy teacher. Got another episode of preventative practice, taking a closer look at the jumping pull-up. Big fan of the jumping pull-up as a skill transfer exercise when done correctly. I'm purposely using a pretty tall box so that my start and land position mimics my finish position for what would be considered this partial overhead squat, the finish of my power snatch, finish of a power jerk, push jerk. You can see feet are nice and straight. I'm creating that torsion at the hip. Thumb is wrapped around the bar and I'm wound up. The goal now is continuous repetitions where I can reclaim that good jump and land position each time. What you'll find is that people have the tendency to slam into the toes and knees, therefore not appropriately loading the system at the hips and more of that posterior chain. So again, think about this less like a pull-up, more like a jumping squat. That's my tall position, triple extension, double under, I'm pointing those toes. Can I reclaim not only the foot position, but that shoulder torsion, thumb around the bar each time. I want to avoid the foot turnout and just stay accountable. So let's say I do end up here. Well, instead of jumping in that next rep, I take that extra second to reset that good position. Jumping pull-ups, awesome metabolic conditioning tool, fantastic skill transfer exercise when done appropriately.